Antarctica Pyramids, Did the Egyptians Transfer Their Civilization to Antarctica? Did the ancient Egyptians build pyramids in Antarctica? Or are those pyramids made by aliens? A matter that some thought was naive, but after all it began to require great steps toward certainty in 2016, when Ancient Origins magazine, based within the Republic of Ireland, which may be a research project journal concerned with exploring the world, began Earth, a series of research and scientific articles supported by photos and videos, hierarchical forms on the northwestern outskirts of Antarctica, which cover over 98% of its snow area. The truth is that the story of the pyramids of Antarctica isn't new, for nearly a century and 20 years ago, specifically within the year 1910, when a variety of explorers left the British, numbering 65 men, led by the officer, explorer, Robert Falcon Scott, on an expedition called the Terra Nova Expedition. And also the members of that mission were chosen from 800,000 applicants, and included officers, navigators, doctors, explorers, geologists, and aquatic biologists. And therefore, the wilderness was sponsored by the British Royal Geographical Society to explore Antarctica. Scott and his companions reached Antarctica on January 17, 1912, about 72 days before all of them died on the return journey, where they died on March 29 of the same year in Antarctica, and their bodies weren't found until about 200 days later, specifically on November 12 of the identical year. The foremost important thing that the mission discovered was those hierarchical shapes covered with ice, and despite their deaths, they wrote in their memoirs what they observed of forms believed to be. Remnants of an ancient civilization, a civilization that's very almost like the ancient Egyptian civilization, or it's going to be the ancient civilization, which the Egyptians have succeeded in reaching Antarctica thousands of years ago. For over a century, the British hid this information in pictures taken by Scott and his companions. Some information and rumors came out about what they found there from ancient civilizations and pyramids covered with snow, and in 2016, a bunch of those fascinated by strange phenomena revived the hypothesis of Antarctic pyramids, after they showed a number of the images on Google Earth of Antarctica they appear to point out pyramids covered in ice, and that they published their hypothesis in Ancient Origins, which scours the Earth and divulges border-breaking research round the ancient world. The images covered by these researchers showed what appear to be three pyramids with four sides like the famous Giza pyramids in Egypt, which makes us wonder, who built the Antarctic pyramids? Could they be man-made and established by an ancient civilization, and what's the connection of the ancient Egyptians to them? Is it possible that the Egyptian was the one who created those pyramids at some point, despite the gap between the pyramids of Giza and therefore the pyramids of Antarctica? and with over 13,000 kilometers, the Egyptian architecture, with its engineering capabilities, was unique to the Egyptians. The impulse behind the idea that they were those who built the pyramids of Antarctica led them to call it the Pyramid of Antarctica, or the Pyramid Trough. The most important question is, how did the researchers see those pyramids? Many of them put many theories about the origin of those pyramids, a number of the foremost controversial theories are that the pyramids were remnants of an extinct Atlantis civilization in Antarctica, or that they were built by aliens, albeit most of them. Presented from analysis of the occurrence of that phenomenon, is that it had been formed as a result of natural geological changes, those pyramids are nothing but a rocky outcrop or nunatak, which are mountain peaks emerging through the ice, and one in all the three pyramids will be observed near the beach, while the two pyramids are located the others are 16 kilometers away. In his paper, Maps of the Ancient Sea Kings, Evidence of Advanced Civilization in the Ice Age, the American historian Charles Hutchins Habgood, published the map of the Turkish marine captain, Ahmed Muhyiddin Piri, referred to as Piri Reis, in 1966, which showed that the Arctic continent at the start of the 16th century wasn't covered by ice. An accurate map which will are copied from a map drawn 6,000 years ago, which was a true shock to scientists, which suggests the likelihood that Antarctica was once inhabited by humans, which man was ready to build those pyramids at some point during the past 6,000 years, that is, at a time when humans were building pyramids within the ancient world, which suggests the chance of an ancient civilization covered in ice immediately. Scientifically, researchers believe that the Antarctica pyramids are nothing but mountains that have taken on a pyramidal shape, 
which is the product of a sort of abrasion that appears only in polar regions where rocks are exposed to ice erosion, despite the apparent stability of these snow, but these glaciers are constantly moving, this leads to polishing or sculpting one in all the edges of the mountain. And with the passage of your time that extends to ample years, the directions of the glaciers changed, which made them polish four sides of the mountain, which produced this hierarchical shape. As for the pyramids of Antarctica, the primary is found at latitude 78 degrees 18 minutes south, 163 degrees 27 minutes east, and its height is about 1,200 meters, its slopes are covered with ice and feature a summit very just like the summit of the well-known Egyptian pyramids, and it's not alone. It's abundantly buried under the ice and takes a linear form sort of a line, and it's located in a very flat area called Ellsworth Mountains, located within the south of a lake called Pyramid Lake, and near a river called Kotlitz Glacier, Glacier, and it was called the Pyramid Mountain, it is worth noting that there are lakes near this mountain, variety of lakes with ancient Egyptian names. There's the Pool of Cleopatra, and therefore the lakes of Egypt and Apis, which are lakes formed as a result of small runways that come from high places called uplands. Unofficial, launched by a variety of students. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll never miss out on our latest content, and you'll be helping us to create even more amazing videos for you in the future. Thank you for your support.